fellow time lapse enthusiasts, this is Jay, aka My Lapse, coming to you to hook you up with a really cool off the shelf solution for panning time lapse work. Before I get into this, I just want to say thanks to everybody who has subscribed and all the nice things that everybody's been leaving, comments, etc. I really appreciate it, and um, it's been great to meet some of you and exchange ideas and uh, concepts. I hope we can continue to uh, find cool ways to do time lapse. I'm always trying to find uh, new ideas and ways to kind of push it up to the next level. So. That said, let's get to this, which is really cool. So you may have checked out the clock, and you may have checked out my other homemade um, solutions to doing panning time lapse. And you thought to yourself, that's really cool, but I don't really want to spend that much time uh, producing something like that. So this is a great solution for you. It's an inexpensive telescope mount that will allow you to do panning time lapses at a relatively low cost. I have information on where to get it uh, right up here. And then you have the 497 controller, which is also the 495 controller. They're pretty much the same. And if you want to get into computer control, you're, you're going to need one of these. They retail for about 200 bucks, but you can find one on eBay for about 100 or a little bit less. Um, Bill can hook you up with the 494, but you'll have to find your own 497 or 495 if you want to get into the computer control later on. So the one part of the puzzle that you'll have to supply yourself is this bracket that attaches via four screws. I did a, a radial pattern so that this thing could turn 45 degrees. Laterally, this head will only go 90 degrees, so this allows for a little more options. I'll put a PDF of the design in uh, my links. I had my local metal shop make this thing. It took him about five minutes and it's aluminum. So this guy runs off of eight AA batteries that you can put in here. You can also get an AC adapter uh, to connect to it, which is probably a little better idea, but the batteries last pretty long. I get uh, maybe 10 sessions out of the batteries before I have to replace them. Pretty decent for uh, field work. I've got the head off of the tripod here and I might mention real quickly that um, you can see the head has a 3 8 threaded connector. Unfortunately, it's not the 3 8 times 20 like a standard tripod connector. So I wish it was, but unfortunately, it's a finer thread. It's a 3 8 though. Um, so you can't use this necessarily on any tripod. So Mead has sort of cornered you into using the tripod that they have or you could maybe do a custom one. Okay, so let's get into the nitty gritty on the controller. I'm going to turn it on here. I'm going to use the 494, which is your basic controller. You may have caught me talking about how you can get 10 speeds out of these things, but since then I've discovered that you can get any speed you want out of it by going into the menu system. So when you turn it on, you'll get a warning to not look into the sun with your telescope. If you hit the speed button a couple of times, it'll get past that. And then if we go to mode, it'll start going through some of the basics. Daylight savings time, yeah, whatever, enter. 
date. I set it for 21st of June, which is the solstice. Um, seems like a good date to set it to, and it'll stay on that date, so enter. And time really doesn't matter, but you know, you can put whatever time you want. So then it goes to the alignment system, and we'll, we're going to skip that. We're going to go to the mode until we back up to the top of the menu system. And then we're going to scroll down and we're going to find the setup. So we're going to go down to setup, enter, and there's a line again. If we just move down to telescope, oops, missed it, telescope. Here you'll find two ratios, the azimuth ratio, azimuth being the horizontal, and the alt ratio, alt being the vertical. There's also a percentage. These, I believe, are sent, set to 10% by default. I just leave it at that. Again, alt percent, 10 percent, again, I just leave it there. Now, when we go down, let's get back to the, uh, go through all the system and get back to, uh, come on now, there we go. Um, so here's the as ratio. When you first en enter this, or you, when you first get to it, you'll see that it's 1.38 something. I set it for 1, and in the horizontal, 1 will get you about 150 degrees per hour at 8x side reel. Now, you can use that as a basis for calculating how far it's going to go over said time. The alt ratio, I also have to, at one. The strange thing is that they're, they, you'd think they would be exactly the same, but they're actually different. Um, at, at the alt ratio being one, you will get about 100 degrees of travel in an hour. So you can use those two baseline um, calculations to figure out how far it's going to go. And obviously, if you set this ratio to different percentages, so two times or point, point 0.5 times, the speed will uh, adjust to that. So when we hit speed down here, you can see on the top. So I base it all on, get it down to 8x. And 8x is a good place to start. Now there's one other item that you might find very helpful and that is one of these Irwin quick grips, a really tiny one like this one. This is perfect for clamping on and holding the button down while it's traveling. And you can even hold two buttons down if you put it diagonally and press it down and it just locks into place so your motor moves, well it holds down your buttons while your motor moves and then you can just release it whenever you're done. Great little addition to this uh, little system. So again, hit up Bill at Telescope Warehouse. The links are in the description. He'll hook you up with either the head and the tripod or the head tripod and the 494 controller. Uh, if you want to get into the computer control stuff and and stay tuned on that one, uh, probably just go to eBay to find the 497 controller or the 495 controller. Uh, I'll keep working on that software and hopefully you'll get that out there soon so you can do some really cool movements with this thing. And again, thanks for watching, and this is Jay signing off. We'll see you out there. Peace.